Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my Squirrel Saw Workshop. I'm going to post a pattern tomorrow morning of this little box, and uh, there's a couple little things about it I wanted to point out to you. First, you'll need these little wooden buttons to put on each end of the box, and there's a specific reason for these buttons, which I'm about to show you. You'll notice that if you go to open this box, it'll pivot open this way, and it'll pivot open that way. And if you don't like that, you can take the lid completely off. And the reason for that are these little rare earth magnets on each end. Now these magnets can be purchased online or uh, in several different little hobby stores and places. So you want to look for the rare earth magnets that, uh, because they're really strong. And you will have to possibly modify the pattern just a little bit because you want to drill these holes to insert these magnets into the base of this box. Uh, the right size to where you can epoxy them in there and get them flush with the edges. Now, when I drilled my holes, I did a poor job of getting the magnets flush. And you do want to work on that because I figured I could just sand them down and make them flush when I finish. But they make a real mess when you sand them down. So work on getting them flush uh, before you finish the project. And uh, you'll see that the lid just snaps right on. So it makes a very solid lid for this little potpourri box. Um, in the base, I drilled the holes just deep enough for the magnets to sit into and then epoxied them in. And on the lid, I drilled the holes all the way through and just used these little buttons to cover up the holes on the top. So you want to make the top of the box uh, just thick enough to hold the magnets plus to get the little uh, insert for these buttons in there. And then when you get done, you want this to be flush. So, again, you might have to modify the thickness of the top to make it uh, match your magnets. But it makes a pretty cool little box. I haven't finished it yet. I'm getting ready to do that right now. But I really like the idea that it'll pivot open either direction. I think that's pretty cool. I'm Steve Good. Hope you like this project. And we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.